Hey guys, Michael Kincaid. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this Mavic video. This is going over the uh, Litchi app for the uh, Mavic. This is first time use. But real quick, before we get started, uh, when you fire up the Litchi app, you'll get this uh, welcome uh, screen. But you need to pay attention to the directions on here because uh, if you're flying with Android like I do, and I'm specifically using the Sam Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, you need to follow the directions on here because you'll need to go into your uh, settings because once you plug in the USB, fire up the controller, it'll automatically default to the DJI Go app. So you need to go into your settings, go into application, and then uh, scroll down until you find your DJI Go app and clear out your defaults in there. So it is a little bit of annoying. It is kind of annoying because when you are done with the Litchi app and you want to go back to the DJI app, you've already cleared out the default. So a lot of those uh, settings as far as your uh, return to home um, altitude and all that, you've got to go back in there and reset that. So just note that. Follow the screen um, um, information on there, and then you'll be good to go on starting off with your Litchi app. Okay, and again, this is the first time using the Litchi app, and again, the reason I used Litchi app with the Phantom 3 Pro was specifically for waypoints, uh, just to be able to set the waypoints prior to flying your mission, unlike that in the um, DJI Go app. And you have a lot, of, a lot more functionality as far as being able to adjust your settings, adjusting you know, the speed of the craft, you can adjust the uh, heights of the waypoint, all within uh, before flying the actual mission. So now that we have the uh, DJ, I mean the uh, Litchi app going here, go ahead and welcome. It kind of tells you how to uh, connect everything, but I just showed you that. So we'll go ahead and X out of that. Now the tap to focus is okay. My C1 button does not work anymore. It actually, when I hit it, flips the camera down and then flips the camera back up. So I have to tap the screen to focus. All right, and let's go ahead and, so before we even take off, let's go ahead and try to input a quick waypoint mission. So you can see our home point there right in front of my house. So I'm just gonna do a really simple because I've seen a lot of people or a few people that's had some bugs or issues with the app. I've not tested this app with the Mavic just yet. So we'll go ahead and tap on the screen to go ahead and get some waypoints going. So we're just going to simply fly point one. And you can move the screen, you can minimize it with uh, the two fingers. Just go ahead and fly it right over here. Waypoint two. Go ahead and three. Then we'll just come right back to this second driveway over here. And let's, and if we tap and hold, you can move the waypoint, which I like. So I don't want to clip in that tree, so we're going to move it right there. And again, just a simple, easy little waypoint mission. Um, Nothing too complex. I want to have control over it and if it uh, were to fail. So now we will go ahead and let's see if we can just go right into, you can save that mission. So we'll go ahead and test Mavic. Done. Okay. So that flight is now saved. So we'll, so now at this point, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and change the settings on the waypoint mission. So we will first go to uh, heading mode toward next waypoint, uh, finish action none. Actually, I want it to, yeah, none. I just want it to hover. So I like how the path mode, you can do curved turns or straight lines. So it makes a nice smooth arc between uh, the, your waypoints. So cruising speed 28, I want to go ahead and bring it down to, uh, we'll just do that about 8.9. It sounds good to me. So waypoint one, don't want the altitude at 90 that high up. Go ahead and increase that. We'll do... 
we will do about 75 feet because that's enough to clear the treetops if it were to kind of get out of control. We'll set our speed to about 10. Curve size. I'm not going to worry about that. So next waypoint two, uh, we'll bring carry that altitude down to about 75. Cruising speed of about 10, close to it, 9.2. Uh, we'll lower that curve size down a little bit. So again, love the functionality of being able to adjust the altitude on each of these. So we'll keep that about 75. Oh, 75, where are you at? And cruising speed, about 9.2. Curve size, I'm just gonna bring it down to about 13. All right, waypoint four, what we'll do is we'll bring that down to, well, not negative, let's just say 25. Twenty-six feet, and we'll do a cruising speed. We'll slow it down of about five. Okay, so now we're set. So we should have our waypoints all going. You see, seventy-five. All right. Now this is now once you hit play, you get your pre-flight report. Get your estimated mission time, just 43 seconds. Total distance, 436 feet. Uh, your height on each one. So now we can hit go and hope this does the mission. Mission. So it's fired up. It's going up. Go ahead and move the screen over so we can see. We'll adjust our camera down. And it's going to waypoint one beautifully. Now it's curving, going to waypoint two. Cruising right along to waypoint three. It should pivot back now. Coming straight back to waypoint four, lowering its altitude and slowing down, hopefully. Which it looks like it has. All right, perfect. So that was a successful waypoint mission. So the first mission with the uh, Mavic worked out perfectly flawlessly. So uh, I'm impressed with that. I don't know why it's giving me this crazy beeping noise. So what I'm gonna do now is get a little bit more adventurous with it. Go ahead and land it. I don't know why it's beeping like that. Okay, so, so we had that mission in. We've done all that without having to fly the mission. So now let's go into top left, I believe. That gives us our, I've had some uh, missions already saved in there from the Phantom 3 that actually carried over. So Fall Color Cruise 2016, that is one I've, I've set a mission point and I've been running it for the past two months with the Phantom 3, so we can kind of do a time lapse of the uh, leaves changing. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that one and go ahead and load. So this one's a little bit more adventuresome. You can see it kind of goes over all the trees there. So let's just go ahead and play this pre, then that one's already preset. Um, we'll go ahead and play this mission. Hit the play button. And then this one is uh, 250, 255, 255, then comes back down to, I don't want, let me see four here. I'm gonna cancel that. I don't know why four is 26 feet. So I can go into the settings of it, boom, 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 
boom, altitude, we'll just keep it, we'll keep it right at 100. So I did have to adjust that one, change that to 10, okay. So, now that one should be set, so let's go ahead and play this mission. Now I like the settings on that better. That fourth one is set to 104 feet, so we're not gonna come crashing down on the house or anything. So we're gonna hit go. Mavic is firing up. And she is going up. I'm not sure why the screen's getting all buggy. So it's getting altitude, climbing to its 250, uh, 249 feet before it starts. So you can see it is flying to its first mission point. just in this again this was a pre uh, mapped flight actually from where I had done it uh, back in gosh I think late September today is December 1st so now it is hitting at waypoint one flying to waypoint two So coming in back to uh, waypoint three, which is directly over our house here. I can hear it. Slowly panning down, and I'm I'm doing that manually, it's panning down. So now it is lowering altitude to the hundred feet on waypoint four. All right, so we went to waypoint four. So again, that was a successful mission. Mavic seems to be responding nicely. Uh, to the uh, Litchi app. Again, I've had a few people mention that they've had a few issues with it, but right now it is flying like a champ. But again, uh, now that we'll, we may dive into some of the other features on the Litchi app, but for me, that is the only reason it's well worth the 20 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever it costs, just to be able to set the permissions like that. You can get nice, very detailed flights. So if you're flying out over the lake or trying to get uh, trying to get some shots of uh, just some really pinpointed uh, locations, you can really set that route. Um, and, and the Litchi app is working beautifully for that. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this Mavic video. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Got some other uh, things planned for the Mavic. We have many more uh, tests coming up that we're going to try out. Uh, we'll We'll probably dive into the Litchi app a little further, a little deeper, and uh, test out some of the other options on that. Again, thanks for checking out this video. We will see you in the next one.